Hello guys, Dello304 here, and I'm using a different camera for this video just because it'll be a little bit easier to, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, it'll be a little bit easier to edit once I'm done. Now, I do love the quality of this camera. The only problem with it is that it gives this, it gives it this fisheye effect to some things if you don't have the right angle, which I don't like. And that's the only thing I don't like about it. It gives this fisheye kind of type of, uh, whatchamacallit, fisheye, uh, like, effect to things. But the video quality is definitely a lot crisper than my video camera back there. Uh, yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I have my, uh, Dell Latitude D600 laptop out here again. It's been sitting under there and on that fridge for many, many, a long, long time. Many, 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 many months. I haven't really used it for anything within the past year, probably, so, yeah, anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing Windows 7 on there, just to see how it'll run. And you can see here's my shrine of boxes and stuff, but anyway, I'm just going to go through my Windows installation thingies here, get my 32-bit Windows 7 disk, I have a bunch of Windows editions on there. But uh anyway, I did this video I did a video like this one uh either either yeah, that's a word. Uh either late 2010 or early 2011. So uh yeah, let me let me know guys. Again, I asked this before, but let me know if you think I should use this camera cuz the video quality is like just exponentially better. Just look at that. That looks, that looks great. But uh, anyway, that's not the point of this video. Um, yeah, a while, long, long time ago, I did a video of installing Windows 7 on my Dell Latitude D500, which I don't have anymore. And that's actually why I bought this computer, because I missed that computer, and I wanted something like it. This is almost identical, just better. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this thing... Oh, this is a DVD-ROM drive, so we have our Windows 7 CD here. I'll take it put it in the drive and we're gonna see how this will go now I'm gonna go ahead and do a clean install so I go ahead and reboot the computer we'll see if I need to download any drivers I probably will because you know this is an old computer it's running Windows XP professional service pack 3 now but I have the in reinstalled disk if I really want to reinstall XP on here but I'm gonna put Windows 7 on here and see how it act see how it it'll run Let's see if I close the window a little bit. Okay, that, that looks a little better if I have the curtain drawn. Yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Now, I think I'm going to edit this video. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not going to let you guys uh, sit through the entire uh, process of, you know, doing my thing, but... Uh, I'll videotape most of it. Some water on my desk there. I'll videotape most of it, but not not everything because it's going to take a little while on this old computer. Uh, this thing has a 1.8 gigahertz Pentium M. It's the newest Pentium M, I believe. It's I believe it's like a Pentium M745 or something. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's 1.8. Yeah, it is. And uh, it has one gig of DDR RAM and a 80 gig? I want to say 80 gig, but I don't know. 40 gig? Either a 40 or an 80 gig hard drive, so that should be enough. So, uh, yeah, it should. this thing should be like the bare minimum to run Windows 7. So, yeah, I'm going to see how, it run, see how it runs. Oh, and it has a 32 megabyte ATI Radeon 9000. So, yeah. So... Hopefully this runs good. I think it will. It ran good on my D500. My D500 was only a 1.3 gigahertz Pentium of an older generation, and oh, it had it had a bigger hard drive and a uh, a little more RAM, but uh, crappier processor. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this uh, will be cool. I think what I'm going to do with the whole camera situation is I'm just going to use um, this camera for videos that I have to edit since because, uh, since because, yeah, 
<laughs> anyway, um, when I'm recording videos with my handy cam and editing them, most editors are optimized for uh, uh, what you would call it uh, HD footage. And okay, so it's a 40 gig drive, but they're optimized for mostly HD footage. So doing standard def. Uh, it doesn't really like it in the last video I did, which is my graphics card upgrade. It screwed up the aspect ratio on everything, so it it was a crappy video. So I think I'll be using this camera for editing, and then I'll be using the uh, handy cam for everything else, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. We are installing Windows files right there, so this is going to take a little while. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll start the video again once it's done doing all this crap and we're uh, almost done with the installation. So, yeah, so, seems like a fun experiment. I haven't done it in a long time, so uh, we'll see how she goes. Alright guys, another update for the D600, or the only update actually. I've gone ahead and installed Windows, and you can see the resolution is pretty high, uh, even though the default Windows 7 driver is installed you can see that the display does still support 1400 by 1050 resolution so that's good uh, yeah my 32 meg <laughs> video card there but I got a 1 gig USB stick right here so uh, yeah right there I'm gonna use this to install the drivers with and uh, yeah I love the close-up focus of this camera just has just kind of slow it focusing back on what it needs to focus on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Anyway. Um, yeah. Hopefully that fixes itself. That's the only thing I don't like about this camera. There we go. Yeah. Slow, slow focus. Alright. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to install the chipset driver first. I haven't installed anything. This is, oops, shit. This is just the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, clean install of Windows 7. So, yeah, we have no network, we have no sound or anything like that. So I'm, I'm installing the wireless card right now so we can at least get on the internet. Oh, whoops, I forgot to run it in compatibility mode. Let me go back to Dell drivers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, set up and I'll run this in compatibility mode for XP Service Pack 3 because I c there are no Windows 7 drivers for this computer so apply okay uh, let's run as oh shit um, okay well I clicked on the wrong thing but uh, okay let me poke it pointed at the display there there we go alright cancel 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 okay uh, open Yes, let's see if this thing will load. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, compatibility mode does work. So that's cool. Alright, let me zoom up on that a little bit. Here we go. Next, it's got an Intel Pro uh, wireless card in it. Okay, typical, I don't give a shit. Let's do it. I forgot how, I forgot how crappy Windows 7 looks without Arrow. See, that computer has arrow because it's a latitude and much newer, but uh, yeah, anyway, back to this. Yeah, this is kind of boring, but I figured I'd videotape it because, you know, I figured I would. Why not? Well, anyway, I'll come back when I have the drivers and stuff installed, so, yeah. Alrighty, guys, hey, I'm back, and I finally got the uh, D600 all um, up and running with Windows 7. All the drivers are installed, everything up supposedly works. No programs yet, so I'll have to install programs later, but I just want to see how this thing runs. So we're doing a, f a restart right now. I've already done a couple restarts for BIOS, or uh, not BIOS, uh, driver updates. But, 
this is just so you guys can see how fast it takes. It's not very fast. Uh, it's it's not it's not really not the fastest, but uh, it's not bad for a 2004 computer. So it's good enough for now. Well, it's good enough as it is. It's only it only has a gig of RAM, so it's probably where it's lacking. It supports up to two gigs, but unfortunately, I don't have any spare memory chips to put in it. So you can see we're running at 1400 by 1050. I know the screen's just all blurry. It's kind of weird, but that's, just, that's the best I can do right there. If only it would focus. There we go. Thank you, camera. So as you can see, you just heard the boot chime. Uh, it looks good on the 1400 by 15, or, uh, bleh, the, f bleh, oh my god, the 1400 by 1050, uh, it looks good on this 14 inch screen, so let's go ahead and go ahead and go into the Windows, uh, system properties, I have to activate Windows too, so I'll do that after, but let's do system rating, and let's do rate this computy, alright. So we'll see ya. Watch them all be 1.0. No, I'm kidding, but <laughs> they won't be very high, I can tell you right now. Ha! <laughs> Could not measure storage performance. Could not, unable to start the kernel logger. Nice! Okay, well that was a complete waste of time. Great, I'll, have to, I'll edit that part out. Uh, anyway, yeah, we have a 40 gig hard drive here. That's all my computer, it's, I mean, that's all my camera zooms in, so that's going to have to be good enough. Anyway, yeah, that's just a little experiment for the D600. I'm going to go ahead and mess with it some more, but uh, yeah, that's installing Windows 7 on an old Dell Attitude D600 laptop. Thanks for watching the video.